Hi guys, so today we're in Osaki City in Shinagawa in Tokyo. I'm going to be doing a little urban foraging or foraging around the city. We're in an area across from the Megiddo River called the Olive Terrace. Basically the reason it's called that is because this whole area used to be a big olive grove. One of the first olive groves in Tokyo. Across the Megiddo River you can find an olive tree on almost every corner. There's an olive tree here, there's one over there. This is one of the oldest trees. It's like over 100, 116 years old. Legend has it that the King Philip II of Spain uh, shipped a barrel of salted olives uh, as a present to the warlord, uh, Hideyoshi Toyotomi. Uh, but at that time, Japan was just closing its doors to the Western world. After the Edo period ended, Japan opened its doors again around 1861. Uh, the shogun's personal physician, uh, who learned a lot about Western medicine, recommended the therapeutic benefits of olive oil. So they imported olive trees from France, but the trees didn't do very well in Japan. Then in uh, 1874, at the beginning of the Meiji era, the Red Cross founder uh, brought new olive trees that were stronger. They came from Greece and Italy. They planted the trees and they actually thrived around the Shinigawa area and they produced fruit, so these were the first olives in Japan. Then, after the Russo-Japanese War around 1905, uh, Japanese fishing industries opened up, and the production of fish increased. With the larger production of fish, canning and preserving fish became more common. Japan usually preserved fish by salting and drying it. To reduce the cost of importing all that oil for the canning, uh, Japan started its own olive industry and oil production and olive oil production. They built bigger, better olive groves uh, in a better place location near Kagawa Prefecture, actually in Shodoshima Island, which had a climate similar to the Mediterranean. ちょっとわかんないですね。こっちチーズにそっちの一番なんかボロい。ああ、なんか出てますよね。そうですね、そうですね。ちょっと元気がないですよね。あれが。So I walk to the end of the Olive Terrace Road. Then there's more olive trees on this side. Actually, there's this. There's an olive tree here. Then up here, there's a juniberry tree. And there's a loquat tree next to a, a ginkgo nut tree. So I got to remember to come back here. And this whole terrace on top of the, the building has a lot of olive trees. Young trees that we planted here. But look at this guy. It's a really very old tree. If this tree's bark could talk. If you look here, yeah, there's, it's a family tree. There's some more trees trimmings here. There's some more trees coming out here. Grandpa. So I gathered a bunch of the olives and uh, I was going to blend them. Uh, the olives, so the olives can't be eaten directly from the tree. The fruit you have to uh, water brine. So you take the olives and you put them in a glass container. Uh, first, uh, score or break the olives, and then put them in water. And take out the water and repeat this for about ten days. Then make a heavy brine solution. Mix the olives in the brine solution. 
So I'm gonna let these sit and then uh, maybe I'll show you later how they came out.